I'm Mihira Lakshman, editor of Canadian Running Magazine. In any training program, it's important to know how hard to push yourself in a given workout. Often we'll hear experts refer to the various training zones, from the slow aerobic to the anaerobic threshold to the VO2 max speed range. Your VO2 max is a measure of how much oxygen your body can deliver to its muscles during an all-out effort, while your anaerobic threshold is the point at which your body starts to build up lactic acid. Getting a VO2 max test can be a useful tool to find these zones and make sense of the data from your heart rate monitor. So I went to visit Ian McLean, who frequently tests athletes in the Toronto area. A lot of guys out there train 12, 15 hours a week, but don't really see much. A lot of my athletes can train 10 hours a week and see way better results. That's because they know their target heart rates for the various training zones. To measure VO2 max and anaerobic threshold, McLean fits the athlete with a mask and attaches a heart rate monitor. The breath, gas and heart rate data goes into the computer, calculating training targets. It's much more accurate than using shortcut calculations like 220 minus your age for max heart rate, or using a recent 5K race time to predict VO2 max. You still have to figure out what your zones are based on your anaerobic threshold, and that's where the mathematical calculations fall apart, is they're too generalized. They don't go specifically to the core of what your body is and where your efficiency is at, at a given point in your training cycle. After a short warm-up, athletes doing the VO2 max test run on a treadmill. The pace and incline gets tougher every two minutes. The test usually takes between 12 and 15 minutes, and the subject determines when it's time to stop. McLean says the data is vital for any training program. You have to know where your body's at. You need a baseline. Um, and even for elite athletes who are experienced and think they know what's going on, a heart rate monitor is great, but if you don't really know what that heart rate means, then you're kind of shooting blindly. You may get it, you may not. So now, when you look at your heart rate monitor, you'll know which zone you're in, helping you train smarter instead of harder.